Welcome back to the news closet. This weird echoey closet where I talk to you every time that there's new updates to the Evermore website. Today there's more information about the murder mystery event that they're doing called Ripper's Cove. Ripper's Cove is a phrase from Evermore's early history. The uh, trademark for Ripper's Cove was filed on the same day as the one for Evermore Park on uh, the day before Valentine's Day in the year 2013. And originally it was going to be one of the three themed seasons. Like currently we have the summer season is called Mythos, the fall season is called Lore, and the winter season is called Aurora. And those are all named after the realms and the portal that opens to those realms at that time of year. Um, but the original 2014 press release named one of the three seasons after Ripper's Cove. There was the Carnival of Wonders in the summer, Ripper's Cove in the fall, and an Evermore Christmas in the holiday season. Um, but yeah, this was an idea that they were excited about. Uh, if you look up Ripper's Cove on Google, there's a company called Entrepreneurs that did architectural designs for a haunt called Ripper's Cove in 2013. Um, in those early days. But now, you will finally, for the first time that I'm aware of, be able to attend a Ripper's Cove event at Evermore Park. And what is that going to look like? This event will be a murder mystery party set up in the environs of the Evermore Park, the authentic Victorian village that they have there. You will be playing one of the characters, and there are several characters to choose from, and each one of those character archetypes can only have up to 15 people filling it. It's gothic slash Victorian era costumes. It is mandatory for everyone to wear a costume to this event that hopefully matches their character archetype that they chose when purchasing a ticket. The different characters that you can choose to be are the police. You are the law enforcement of the town. Your deductive reasoning and desires to keep the peace prove you to be a valuable asset to the town. People feel safer with you around. Or high society. As a member of high society, you're the upper crust of the upper crust. Politicians, celebrities, and members of wealthy families. You have the means and the money to do as you please or you could be a dock worker. As a dock worker, you're the ears to the ground on all the happenings of the people around you. You have connections from the many travelers and merchants you encounter. Your web of influence is vast and powerful. You can be a veteran. As a veteran, you've served in one of the many wars waged around the world. You have a commanding presence and you're equipped with authority, respect, and experience. With such power, you're inspiring to some and terrifying to others. Uh, there's mystics. You could come as a mystic character. Your connection to the world around you runs deeper than it does for most people. Your ability to see past the veil tends to help you make sense of events around you. You can see, feel, and experience things that are just out of reach for others. Whether this is magical, spiritual, or something supernatural, one thing is for certain. You know something that others do not. So that feels like cheating at a murder mystery party? Because you can just like talk to the ghost like, Hey, uh, who capped you? And they'd be like, it was Brian. You could be a merchant. You're a very business-minded individual. No matter who you talk to, they always seem to find themselves buying what you're selling. You're a smooth talker and able to move around any social situation with ease. Cool. You can be a scientist. As a scientist, you're the intelligent, brave, and sometimes mad scholars who can use the incredible power of your studies to assert your influence and discover hidden secrets. Uh, it says it in details. I close my eyes, as you could see, because there's something allergy weird going on with them, and I just guessed that the next word was going to be secret, but it was details, hidden details. The technologies and discoveries that you utilize in your vocation will be of particular use to you.
I love these videos. You could be the staff. As a member of the staff, oh no, I can't read it. When I hover over it, the text cuts off. As a member of the staff, you're the fly on the wall in the various and occasionally devious dealings of your employers. You're privy to facts that others would prefer. <laughs> this is one of those cases where I actually would have been able to read this better on my phone <laughs> because I know for a fact that I can read the whole thing there. Um, whatever. So, you can be police, high society, dock workers, veterans, mystics, I'm holding the camera with my other hand. M merchants, scientists, or the staff. That's eight different character archetypes, <laughs> character archetypes for you to choose from. There are two shows every night that it is open. There's a show that goes from 5.30 to 9 p.m. and another show that goes from 7.30 to 11 p.m. That leaves like just over three hours, three and a half hours for each show. And there is some overlap there. So they must be doing something where one group is eating and the other group is out in the park. There's going to be two parts to your three-ish hour experience. Half of it is going to be eating and half of, it, uh, half of it is going to be trying to discover the mysteries around you and learn who did this grisly unaliving of others. The non-food half of your experience is going to include the interactive murder mystery. It will have multiple endings and villains depending on how things go the night that you are um, at the dinner party. There are going to be live magic shows and live music performances, funny and spooky characters. At the end of the night, you will learn the truth of the mystery and be awarded with a prize if you were one of the people to figure it out. There will also be a costume contest where the top three winners uh, receive prizes as well. Uh, description lower on the page says, interactive murder mystery where you are the star. Trust no one until you find your allies as you venture out into Ripper's Cove to discover the many hidden clues, objects, and characters that will lead to solving many mysteries that await. The food portion of the event will include a four-course catered British-themed dining experience, and that is going to include an appetizer, palate cleanser, dinner, and themed dessert. There will also be a full-service cash bar, which will include both alcoholic and non-alcoholic options. Cool. So, that should be exciting. I was going to go to this, but then I realized that um, the night that this opens, I will be flying to Disney World. So, when you all are at your desk job a month from today, just know that I'm in Animal Kingdom, just kicking it with Rafiki. If this seems interesting to you, opening night is exactly a month from today. There are two shows every night. They will be open on May 19th, May 26th, September 15th, and September 22nd. Someone's trying to get in here. Someone's trying to get into the news closet. Who's trying to get into the news closet? Evelyn? Are you sneaking into the news closet? What are you doing? <laughs> so, if you're not going to be in Disney World on the both of those May showings, then uh, go and have a great time. And if you have to miss that one, there are other opportunities in September to go and check it out. So yeah, thanks for watching. And, uh... Hey, Okay? Okay? Yeah, what she said. <laughs>